Hi folks, welcome to TK Actions V5 quick tip number seven. This time we'll look at the difference between using the rapid mass module in normal mode and auto apply mode. There are great reasons to use them both. If you're a CS6 user, you don't have the auto apply mode. Instead, you need to use the layer mass module to get the same functionality. In the normal rapid mask mode, anytime you click on a luminosity lock button or click on any of the mask buttons, you see a full size preview of the rapid mask. This is great for comparing masks by clicking different mask buttons to see how they look. It's also great for visually modifying masks because it lets you see how the mask is changing as you modify it. Once you've found the mask that you want, you need to now choose how to output or apply the mask. You could apply it to a, an adjustment layer and then make the adjustment with that mask attached. You can also load it as a selection to use it for localized mass painting or luminosity painting. You could save it as an alpha channel in the channels panel where you can reuse it later, or you can apply it to an already existing adjustment layer or pixel layer. When you switch to auto apply mode, you'll no longer see the full size mask preview. Instead, every time you click a mask button, it will automatically apply that mask to the active layer. Additionally, any mask modifications that you make will be automatically applied to the mask on the active layer and you'll be able to see how those mass modifications alter the image in real time. One auto apply technique that I use is to start by opening a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to just go ahead and go with the levels and make a pretty radical adjustment. Now when I click on different mask buttons the mask is auto applied in real time to the adjustment layer and I can look at the image and see how each mask is affecting the image and try to find the best mask for the job that I'm trying to do. When I find the best mask I can fine tune my adjustments to best suit that particular mask and I can also further modify the mask and get the mask as perfect for that particular adjustment as I can. As I'm working, I often switch back and forth between normal and auto apply mode. For example, I might start in the normal mode and compare masks visually. Then I'll apply that mask to an adjustment layer and make an initial adjustment. And then at that point I might switch to auto apply mode so I can modify the mask while viewing how the image is affected. Or another approach is to begin with making an unmasked adjustment like I just did and then find out that I need to control it with a luminosity mask. So in auto apply mode like I did, I'll apply different masks until I find the one that does the best job. But then I might go back to normal mode and view the rapid mask so I can modify the mask in the mask view. For example, I might work with the levels of the mask to create better tonal separation. I'm also going to paint with a black paintbrush on this area of the mask to further conceal the adjustment in some of these areas where I don't want it to have such a strong effect. And I can also go to a white brush and paint with white in areas where I want it to have more of an effect. Now with the correct adjustment layer selected, I can click the apply button to apply this new customized mask to my adjustment layer. Being able to work either with a mask in the normal mode while viewing the mask or in auto apply mode while viewing the image gives the V5 panel great flexibility and allows you to tailor your approach so it makes the most sense to you and so you can produce the most precise mass and adjustment control possible. Thanks for joining me for another TK Actions V5 quick tip. I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.